a little bit higher. Yeah. Maybe, maybe sure. just a little bit because after that performance, I, I'm convinced that Kamehameha is still, like, you know, he's, he's, he's a little rattled. Yeah. He's shaking. A little, little shaking, dude. And Japan has had a lot of close calls. The uh, Abadango almost lost the case was yesterday. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, that was so close, man. Last dog, last hit, game three. Yeah, just unfortunate for case was he died the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's every, there's one thing that uh, these big tournaments are that if you're not winning, you're learning. Yes, that is true. That is 100% true. And, you know, I think in that set, both players were learning about, about Pokemon Trainer or Mega Man. And I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt, and one thing Yoda always says is uh, failure is the greatest teacher of all. <laughs> so you learn from your failures. You learn a lot more from failure. You learn what you could have done better. You learn what you could have you you been doing. A lot of things you can learn. Couldn't have said it better myself. But, yeah. you know, congratulations Sorry, I, I to Kamehameha. He's a... Advancing in the top 48, so we'll be seeing him in just a little bit. Mm -hmm. But, of course, you know, we are starting to wrap up these pools, which means that we are starting to see the number one seeds uh, go up for their final matches. Yes. And right now we have a number one seed of a pool, Light, yeah. back on stage. This is going to be their last chance to get the top 48. Uh, top 48 does start at 1, mm -hmm. so we are approaching the top of the hour pretty soon with only That's 20 right. minutes left. So I, I'm guessing that this is going to be the last one. I can't think of any other one, see yeah. I don't know if they're playing any of these off stream either. I, I'm assuming so. I believe so all the yeah. all the winners are going to be on stream, but we do have two streams for Smash Ultimate. So if you're not checking us out, be sure to check out BTS Smash as well. In fact, we have that squad stream live, so why not watch both? Yeah. If Who needs multi Twitch? We got squad streams. That is true. I still like multi Twitch. Shout out to Axia. He showed it to me. Who? Axia. Oh yeah, shout out to Axia. Number one mod. Yeah. For sure. He showed it to me. But he showed squad me like stream. Squad stream. <laughs> you should have them both on. Hit that yes button on your screen. Bring up both. And if you have Twitch Prime, man, every every month uh, Jeff Bezos gets a fat check. Who? For all those on Jeff. Uh, what's his oh, name? Oh, okay. I know. The owner of yeah, yeah, the owner of Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> he gets a big fat check for all those unused that was, Primes. That was a segue that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> yeah, well, I know. I hit you with the mix-up. <laughs> For sure. But, yeah, if you're enjoying the stream, be sure to, you know, hit that subscribe button. We got some cool emotes. Absolutely. We got a lot more coming the way. Uh, you know, we we talked in the 2G tab about, like, what, what's coming up next. And, you know, what? I'm pretty excited for what the next emote's going to be. Do I get and the uh, Z5 hyper returning? No. Why did you guys change that? I was so mad. I actually want them to replace mine. We just, like, just put the Cloud Hype one back. Yes. I prefer Why that one. Why didn't they do that? I was I, you know, talk to Champ. Yeah. Talk to they, Champ. They took out JMX emote, too. I was like, <laughs> that was, like, my personal favorite. Just because his face is so maniacal there. Well, yeah, again, if you're enjoying the screen, please mm -hmm. like, subscribe. Follow. Follow. Do it. Hit all the social medias. Hit the YouTube. At 2G Gaming on all social networks. Mm -hmm. And, of course, I'm 2G Z Fly. You can follow me on Twitter right there. I'm Advance. Follow me. I'm almost to 300. Hey. I would appreciate it if I got Hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yep. Now we have Sweet Tea. One of the... Versus Light. And I believe Sweet Tea was one of the, like, Nintendo competitors? Yes, he was. He got into the semifinals. I think it was... I can't remember where, but he got, I know he got pretty high up there. Was it DreamHack? No. Um, uh. For the Nintendo World Championships? No. Yeah, wasn't it at DreamHack? No. Oh, okay. I, I, I really can't remember. Uh, okay. His girlfriend is also a commentator as well. So, if you guys know her, I was, we were on the mic last night. Uh, Eric, me and Aristale. Pulling it down here at TGG Gaming and also BTS Smash. Of course, if you guys are wondering what's going on in BTS Smash, we do have Toph and Miho on the mic. That's the right. Stream. But now we have our match coming up. Sweet Tea versus Light. It's going to be Palutena versus Pokemon Trainer. Mm -hmm. Should be a very interesting match. As, you know, Both these players seem to be a little bit more reserved when it comes to their play style. Low-key, don't you think, like, I, I know we're, like, showing our age. Don't you think Light looks like Vanilla Ice? I didn't make that connection until now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if anybody knows, if anybody, let's look up who Vanilla Ice is. He actually looks like Vanilla Ice. You know, <laughs> if he starts singing Ninja Rap, I might actually pop off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. If, if Sweet Tea would actually dye his hair blue and wear the headband, he looked like Ninja too. So, anyways. Yeah, I can see I, let's, yeah, let's, let's, have two pseudo celebrities. <laughs> yeah, two pseudo celebrities, two imposters. All right, well, let's get into the game here. Cause so far, the only oh. celebrity here is going to be Sweet Tea as he takes the first dock. Mm -hmm. yeah, great showing, showing like just how strong of a player he is. He uh, has been doing very well at the locals that he does uh, go to. Mm -hmm. I know that he did take a break because of school, but now school's out. Um, 
I believe he graduated. So uh, he should be yeah. attending a lot more events now. Yeah. But ooh, just evading that back air with a Pokemon switch, not getting a back throw raw or back air. Very unfortunate for Light as Ding and now with Sweet Tea still sitting at three stocks, it's going to be a very difficult mountain for Light to climb. This is such a huge change up because when we saw Light previously, he was dominating his opponent, but now it's kind of the shoes on the other foot here with Sweet Tea. Yeah, it looks like there, you know just a couple of mistakes is all it takes. Yeah. And uh, you know, you're know you at a huge deficit. Yeah, and the thing about Sweet Tea is he's been meaning Pokemon trainer since Brawl, so he kind of has a little bit of history with the character. Okay, Dash Attack does connect with the Pokemon oh, Switch. Not going to save Sweet Tea this time. Dang, 17 from Jab. <laughs> that hurts. I'm telling you, man, anytime Palatine hits you with something, it's just a cutscene. <laughs> okay, chasing up, and now Light really starting to get in his mojo. Getting the raw back here, even taking the jump from uh, from Sweet Tea. And, uh, you know what? I think Light recognized that because he was just yeah. staying real close. Uh, Maintaining pressure, and that's going to force Sweet Tea to pick an option. Guess what? Light guessed right again. Nice. Sweet Tea kind of trying to give him the run around here at the ledge. Nice. Reads the roll, get up here, and he goes in for a jab. I'm able to put him off the stage and get the corner to himself. Okay, down there does connect. It has a pretty lasting hitbox. Oh, he was expect Light was uh, with the high recovery. But Sweet Tea just guessing wrong. Going to chase with a bind whip, but it does not find its mark. Okay, being able to recover from the stage and now a couple of nares. Oh, again, this Pokemon Switch is coming out so clutch for Sweet Tea. But now with Charizard, it's a huge target for, for Light to really uh, combo. 69%. Okay, these S smashes. I don't think I've ever seen a Palutena S smash as much as I've seen Light. Yeah. Okay, second jump expended. Now it's going to be all about when he's going to be using the recovery. Teleports right into the down air of Squirtle. Light is just having so much difficulty staying on stage, but now he's at, that he's at such a high percent, Ivysaur is going to have access to a few kill options, including a kill throw. Oh, is he, look, he was looking for the forward throw. Or the... Oh, down throw. Okay. That really hurt. <laughs> he slammed <laughs> yeah, him on the, he on the ground. he slammed him on the ground. He was like... And it was so strong enough that it popped it straight up to the last one. That's crazy. Yeah. Ivysaur, man. I V Sore. I'm telling you, man. Pokemon trainer is just I have a sore in friends. <laughs> <laughs> I told Christina last night. I was like, yo, man, when we're, we're on the mic, I have a sore is just Pokemon and friends. Look, you got I have a sore. You got Squirtle, who makes the appearance as Mario, because he's the leader of the Squirtle squad. <laughs> and then you got you got Charizard, because he's actually the. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah, it's still there. <laughs> Whatever. But, yeah, Sweet Tea, you know, going up game one over Light. Mm -hmm. Very, very impressive. Let's see. Uh, they're the two, one and two seed of their pool. So yeah, for them to make this. it, like, this far, very, you know, that's expected. And especially yeah. with, like, how strong Sweet Tea has been playing in the, in the uh, you know, in the local scene. Yeah. He's currently ranked in our PR. I believe he's ranked number 19. Anyone from the 15 to 20 spot. If I'm not mistaken. So he's ranked in the SoCal PR for this for past season. Still have not finished the ranking. For oh, this season. Oh, oh, okay, God, the footstool. Foot <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Good conversion from light. You know, easy 40 damage, and now we're going to see another corner carry. Oh, but the directional air dodge is going to have uh, Sweet Tea escape from most of that damage. Down throw into forward air. Oh, Interesting. Forward smash instead of down smash. Doesn't down smash cover both sides? Yes. And it also has a win box. Both down smash and forward smash have win boxes. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Nair out of shield. Like I was saying, you know, these two players are a little bit more reserved when it comes to their neutral. They definitely are the type of players who like to have their opponents approach. Yeah. So for them to both be like that, you know, we're seeing like almost, almost both of them are approaching mid stage and then just kind of fighting for it. Mm hmm Back throw from Palutena, able to take care of the first stock. Sweet Tea a little bit behind this time around. Look at the stage switch, might have been the remedy for Light. Oh, that's right. Double back air into a down throw. Ooh, Nair. Now let's see what Light has in store. But the withdrawal, and no, Sweet Tea able to escape. Okay, drag down Nair, gets the re grab. Again, using that Pokemon switch. Such a great air dodge. And now the main hero himself, the main star of Pokemon and friends. 
<laughs> yes, the leader of the pack here is going to be Iwasar. Hopefully the fourth throw will be enough. Unfortunately, it isn't, but it does get sweet to the corner here. Yeah, I don't think fourth throw is actually a kill throw. It just kind of puts his, or his opponent off stage. If you want to kill from the front, it definitely has to be down throw. Yeah, down throw or back throw at least. Yeah, back throw, you know, if your back is to the ledge. Okay, and that's falling back air, but that's a good amount of percent. As you can see, like, we see Light's more reserved play coming into coming out as he's forcing Sweet Tea to approach. Yeah, and Sweet Tea looking to bring this back really easily with just two up airs. Yeah, 56%, but holy but explosive fire coming out from from Light. Oh, Strong. dropping so went, low! Yeah, he went too far to the right, and I respect it too. He wanted to avoid getting hit by Nair, but at that point, Light just knew he had so much commitment to going for that far. And sometimes whenever you're playing defensive, you just get a little predictable, and that's what happened right there. Light yeah. with the prediction gets the jab reset into a forward smash! And Sweet T looking to keep up with Light. Light have was kind of the one to, to continue the pace of the game, but Sweet T's never too far behind. That's right. Okay, here's an up there. And here's just that sweet squirtle damage, but only getting one up air. First jack. I like it. Even goes for the up air, knowing that Sweet T will be trying to land. Squirtle is slight, so he has to commit to resetting at the ledge. That's really right. Good. I mean, with no access to a second jump, he definitely had to escape. Yeah, Sweet T just kind of brought this back with just one other downer. That, I have a sort of up and downer honestly put in a lot of work in terms of damage and kill. Oh, power. with that down throw into Vine Whip, you know, we see a lot of Ivysaurs get a good amount of mileage. Mm -hmm. So, so strong, but we see, so oh, even getting the chase. That was close. That was so close, Sweet T. Literally one second away from getting the victory here. That neutral air, hopefully Sweet T has to be a little bit careful. And I like the fact that he switches to Charizard. Oh, but that up beat from Sweet T going very strong. The up smash lands. Yep, he read the disappearing act, and he caught it at the right time when it mattered the most. Sweet Tea takes us 2-1 over Light. That's right, the pop-off. You can see that fist bump right there. You know, he was happy because not only did he advance to top 48, he overcame the number one seed, yes. Light, holding it down here in SoCal. Definitely, and of course, it yeah, looks like we have one more match, I guess. Or no, actually, I think that's it for our block. I did see Cyro. I did see coming up next Cyro over someone else. And I know Cyro is in top Yeah, Cyro's already in top 48. Yeah. So, you know, that, that does sound like it's going to be at the end yeah. for us. It was a a good ride. We had a lot of great matches. Yeah. A great way to end the set. I mean, yes. I, I'm really glad we got to see Sweet Tea versus Light. Yeah. Because I wasn't sure just, like, how the – just with their – Casual or not casual, but like more reserved play styles, we're going to interact with each other. Mm -hmm. But they definitely, you know, we saw Sweet T kind of take the more aggressive side towards. Yeah, the he, he, he did. Him. Unless you know, um, unless he was on in the lead, in, the, in mm -hmm. which case, you know, he became more reserved, and then it was actually Light's turn to be more uh, approaching. Yes, definitely true. I do like the fact that, like, like I mentioned earlier, Sweet T kind of knew, like, okay, if Light's making these approach, approaches towards me, I need to start being a little bit more aggressive as well. But also, I do like how we saw the interaction. Light mm -hmm. knew that Sweet T was so scared of running off.